नमस्कार गुड इवनिंग यू वॉचिंग द स्पेशल एडिशन ऑफ द न्यूज आवर एंड आई एम स्वाति जोशी टेक ऑन्टरप्रिनर इलॉन मस्क हैज वंस अगेन स्पोकन इन फेवर ऑफ पेपर बैलेट्स ओवर मशीन इन यू एस प्रेसिडेंशियल इलेक्शन एंड इन रिस्पॉन्स टू अ क्वेश्चन ड्यूरिंग अ टाउन हॉल इवेंट इन पेंसिल्वेनिया वेर ही अपियर्ड इन अ रैली विद रिपब्लिकन प्रेसिडेंशियल नॉमिनी डोनल्ड ट्रंप द सीईओ ऑफ टेस्ला सेट द लास्ट थिंग ही वुड डू एज अ टेक्नोलॉजिस्ट इज टू ट्रस्ट अ कंप्यूटर प्रोग्राम एंड इट इज टू इजी अकॉर्डिंग टू हिम टू हैक अनलाइक पेपर बैलेट्स In my view, we should only do um, paper ballots hand counted. That's it. I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a technologist. I know a lot about computers, and I'm like, the last thing I would do is trust a computer program um, because it's just too easy to hack. It's too easy to add just one line, um, and it's really difficult to hack paper ballots. So, uh, you know, it's in, in-person voting with with uh, you know proof, proof of yeah with with ID, which by the way, every country has. I mean, like almost every country that that has democratic elections requires in-person uh, voting with voter ID. This is weird. It's, it's super weird to not have that. Um, I think that's the only way to uh, effectively uh, address fraud. Now this is not the first time Musk has spoken against using technology in elections. Days after the Lok Sabha elections, he had first called for eliminating electronic voting machines in US, saying that the risk of these being hacked by humans or artificial intelligence while small is still too high. Rajiv Chandrasekhar, former Union Minister for Information Technology, had then offered to hold a tutorial on EVMs for Musk, explaining why concerns expressed don't apply to India. Uh, yeah so while while i respect uh, elon musk and what he has achieved i think he is factually incorrect by saying anything can be hacked anything electronic can be hacked a calculator cannot be hacked uh, an electronic toaster cannot be hacked the Ind- indian evm does not r- lend itself to being hacked because it is precisely a very limited intelligence device it is a device that only counts the votes and stores the count uh it is not a sophisticated machine uh that uh, elon musk is thinking of that can be hacked and therefore he is factually wrong and as expected opposition in india this time to latched on to musk's comments to accelerate their anti evm campaign congress which is in a heated showdown already with election commission over haryana assembly election results has jumped to cite these comments as validation and has received support from its allies bjp on the other hand asks why not question uh, the evms when the opposition wins अगर एल्टन मस्क कह रहे हैं आज कौन से देश में ईवीएम है अमेरिका में नहीं है यूरोप में नहीं है जापान में नहीं है दो तीन अफ्रीकन कंट्रीज में है ईवीएम और अपने देश में है ऐसा हारने वाले यही बोलता है कमलनाथ जी की बात तो सारी बातों का जवाब चुनाव आयोग ने दे दिया है मैं समझ सकता हूँ कि इतना पारदर्शी चुनाव कभी होगा नहीं जब कश्मीर में रिजल्ट आया तो अच्छा और हरियाणा में हार गए तो बुरा ये तो छोटा मन है ना ऐसा कैसे बोलना चाहिए मैं उम्मीद करता हूँ कि कांग्रेस सबक लेगी अपने इन चुनाव के रिजल्टों से एल एन मस्क इलेक्ट्रॉनिक दुनिया के कंप्यूटर की दुनिया के एक बहुत बड़ी अथॉरिटी बहुत बड़े व्यापारी बहुत बड़े निर्माता है ये उनके विचार हैं कि सुरक्षित नहीं है ईवीएम और उनके विचार एक विशेषज्ञ के विचार हैं उसको यूं नहीं नकारा जा सकता कर्नाटक का रिजल्ट आया 224 में 135 कांग्रेस को मिला तब ईवीएम का प्रश्न नहीं उठाया तेलंगाना में कांग्रेस सरकार आया तब ईवीएम का प्रश्न नहीं उठाया लोकसभा का रिजल्ट आया तब ईवीएम का प्रश्न नहीं उठाया किधर बीजेपी का सरकार होती है चुनाव आता है बीजेपी का सरकार होता है तब ईवीएम का प्रश्न उठती है दे आर टू कंपनीज दैट मैन्युफैक्चर एंड मेंटेन ईवीएम्स इन इंडिया वन इज बीईएल व्हिच फंक्शंस डायरेक्टली अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ डिफेंस एंड द अदर इज ईसीआईएल which functions uh, directly under the department of uh, atomic energy and uh, both these companies are owned by the government and run by the government so in a way bjp is actually manufacturing and maintaining the evms elon musk ne jo baat ki hai jis wo machine ki baat kar rahe hain wo computer network hai 
वो नेटवर्क कंप्यूटर से कनेक्टेड है कभी ये ई की तुलना पेजर से करते हैं कभी ये कंप्यूटर से करते हैं भारत के जो ई है वो स्टैंड अलोन मशीन है और वो किसी नेटवर्क से कनेक्टेड नहीं है Uh, even on the day in fact of announcing dates for Maharashtra and Jharkhand polls the CEC explained why the polling machines are tamper proof jab pager se uda dete hain to evm ko kaise hack nahi kar sakte ye bhi puchte hain are bhai pager connected hota hai evm connected nahi hoti first level checking randomization second randomization storage mein rakhna storage se bahar nikalna commissioning karna commissioning ke baad wapis storage mein rakhna फिर उसको पोलिंग डिस्पर्सल के दिन ले जाना फिर उसको बूथ पे पहुंचाना बूथ पे पूरा दिन वोटिंग कराना फिर सील करना फिर वापस स्टोरेज में रखना फिर काउंटिंग के दिन निकालना फिर पूरे दिन दिखाना इसमें हर समय पर पॉलिटिकल पार्टी या उस कैंडिडेट या उसका एजेंट मौजूद रहते हैं लेट्स ओपन दिस अप वी हैव सैयद जफर इस्लाम नेशनल स्पोक्स पर्सन ऑफ द बीजेपी ऑन द पैनल विद अस अलॉन्ग विद एडवोकेट सुशील व्यास स्पोक्स पर्सन ऑफ शिवसेना Lokesh Jindal political analyst Kishor Tiwari spokesperson of Shiv Sena UBT and we have Tariq Khan national spokesperson of the Samajwadi Party let me first uh, begin with you Lokesh Jindal on one hand you have your CC that is uh, uh, who's saying and the election commission time and again confirming and addressing the issue that EVMs cannot be hacked on the other hand you have Elon Musk saying that he does not trust computers nobody should trust computers has the opposition chosen to trust him over the CEC over the election commission of India Well, first thing that we all need to understand: there's nothing, there is no electronic compliance which is hack-proof. Even consumer electronic gadgets can be hacked. So the entire claimer that we have an electronic device which is having a circuit, it which cannot be hacked, is something which is highly erroneous. I mean, any graduate from B Tech or any electronic graduate would agree to this. So, and when you have Elon Musk. a person who has made a name who's known for his innovations coming out and claiming that he doesn't trust the uh, computers he is hinting that yes there are a lot of methods whereby circuit design can be intruded whereby external devices can be used so as to manipulate in the functioning of those devices there are there are various methods via which the output can be conditioned the way uh, the circuits behave so the location the let so, me ask you in 2017 when the election commission invited parties and said that you know let's have uh, this challenge let's use this opportunity and see if we can hack evms why didn't the congress and others use those uh, g- uh, graduates that you spoke about why didn't the congress and the others take help of those graduates to prove that yes these are hackable machines see uh, we must understand that if there is a potential threat that exists and if it is not proven that doesn't mean that that threat doesn't exist so we all know that there is a potential of a uh, democracy electoral process getting hacked with these machines so it's better to dis- you know to- if it is that serious lokesh jindal if it is costing the opposition state after state and the opposition is losing because the bjp as per the allegation of the opposition is using these evms then the congress and the others should not have won the states that they won elections in especially karnataka and telangana but let me go across the side zafar islam just because it has not been proven does not mean that it uh, you know takes away the credibility uh, of the allegations being leveled please respond who is making this allegation the allegation is made by opposition leaders who opportunistically make this kind of allegation because when somebody rightly said when they win the nvm is perfectly fine when they lose they find problem with with evm they do not understand that people receptiveness for congress party is diminishing day by day so when they don't vote for congress party doesn't mean that evm is bad or somebody has has hacked evm which cannot be hacked it has been made very clear by the former uh, it minister mr rajiv chandrashekar ji that it ca- it simply cannot be hacked it is made separately away from all the the other issues which has been highlighted by mr elon musk is not valid for these machines that is something which everyone should understand and must be able to differentiate between the machine he is talking about the machine which we have which are using for 
election uh, election purposes so if if at all they feel that it can be hacked election commission not once many many times have asked all the political parties and their representative must come and demonstrate how it can be hacked they never came they never participated in such exercise because they know for sure that it cannot be hacked and only they are making this kind of allegation okay. to stay uh, uh, in limelight nothing mm. beyond that or or they want to hide their defeat and that's why they make this kind of allegation and okay and, just to hide uh, just to hide uh, your defeat sorry can please respond to that just to hide the defeat the opposition is leveling such allegations also uh, if it is true that the bjp is tampering with the evms and that they are being hacked then why not jammu kashmir along with haryana why didn't they win both the states the question is to me is yes yes tarik khan ji can you hear me listen yes yes sir ji audible there is two types of a to uh, look so there is a bit of a problem with your audio sir let's let's uh, fix that and i'll come back to you like let me take the question across to kishor tiwari kishor tiwari the opposition level such allegations because it's losing that's the response coming in from the bjp maine tarikh aur maine jafarul islam ko suna pura aur jafarul islam ne ye kaha ki ye allegation kisne lagaya ki evm hack hote aur ballot paper hi se hi chunav hona chahiye ye ilan mak ne kaha और भारत की प्रमुख पार्टी जो है अपोजिशन की कांग्रेस ने कहा कि ईवीएम के जगह पे बैलेट पेपर रहे अब मैं कहता हूं कि बैलेट पेपर की मांग अगर बार बार उठती है आपने कहा आपने कहा कि जब बीजेपी जीतती है तो ईवीएम की बात आती है अपोजिशन जीतता है तो ईवीएम की बात नहीं आती है लेकिन ये बात आती है ये बात आती है कि ईवीएम पे डाउट है तो ऑपोजिशन क्या कहता है कि हम जीत गए हम जीते क्यों क्योंकि हमने टाइम पर किया है आपका आवाज नहीं आ रहा किशोर तिवारी जी आपने कहा कि जब ऑपोजिशन जीतता है तब भी ईवीएम की बात होती है तो जब ऑपोजिशन जीतता है तो क्रेडिट ईवीएम को देता है या अपने परफॉर्मेंस को देता है मुझे आवाज नहीं आ रहा आपका आवाज नहीं आ रही आपको ठीक है मोदी है तो मुमकिन है इनका ही डायलॉग है तो मैं ये कह रहा था कि ट्रांसपेरेंसी के लिए बजाय भारत के प्रजातंत्र में ट्रांसपेरेंसी के लिए कि जो विश्व में सबसे बड़ा प्रजातंत्र है वहां पर बैलेट पेपर इंट्रोड्यूस करना चाहिए यही मांग है आ, और इस मांग को सरकार क्यों विरोध कर रही है मुझे, मालूम बैलेट नहीं। पेपर ही लोट मुझे नहीं मालूम और बैलेट पेपर की अपनी चुनौतियां नहीं होती है क्या बैलेट पेपर की अपनी चुनौतियां नहीं होती है क्या बैलेट पेपर पूरा पूरा का पूरा बिल्कुल जफर इस्लाम जो कह रहे हैं कि ऐसा नहीं हुआ है चाहते हैं ना बूथ लूट लिया जाता है बैलेट पेपर को नष्ट करने की कोशिशें होती हैं और ये नहीं हुआ है क्या इतिहास में एक मिनट मैं कह रहा हूं जो सुरक्षित मतदार संघ है जहां पर ऐसा नहीं होता है वहां बैलेट पेपर भी साथ में ट्वेंटी परसेंट यूज किए जाए थर्टी परसेंट यूज किए जाए ठीक है अरे बार 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 की किरकिरी तो बंद करो तेलंगाना तेलंगाना और कर्नाटका में किरकिरी हुई कि नहीं हुई लोकसभा इलेक्शन का जो नतीजा महाराष्ट्र में आया उसको आपने कहा कि नहीं कि विंडिकेशन है देखिए महाराष्ट्र की जनता ने लोकसभा में बीजेपी को सबक सिखाया ये आप लोगों के शब्द थे कि नहीं थे तो वो ईवीएम को आप धन्यवाद दे रहे हैं कि जनता को धन्यवाद दे रहे हैं लेट मी ब्रिंग इन तारिक खान तारिक खान दीज एलिगेशन ओनली बिकॉज ऑपोजिशन इज लूजिंग से बीजेपी एंड इट्स कन्वीनियंट लिस्ट कंट्री लिस्ट डेमोक्रेटिक कंट्री भी मुझे की है 
easy. Now, you can look at the rest of the world or you cannot look at the rest of the world. If you don't look at the rest of the world, it's all right. But who is raising the question? The country who is themselves using ballot papers. You have themselves, they are about to have their election in the country, and they themselves use the ballot paper. They are saying, as a man who has organizations like uh, uh, State Act, he is the tech guy, you can see, that he, he, he himself involved in technology. Is it safe? Why he is saying? So we, should, we, we should start debating. Uh, I have to blame each of us. We should start debating that the world leader who has leadership in the technology. But we have to believe either Elon Musk has leadership in technology or not. If not, it's, it's all right. People, somebody outside in there can say anything. But when Sarah Petrona says something, we start debating. And when Elon Musk is saying something about the air, we don't find it appropriate to debate on that. So, in a, in a healthy manner, we should debate that a tech guy who has lots of organizations. But like my question to you yeah, earlier was also the same, that like when that. the election commission, uh, you know, said, come, all the political parties hmm. come, let's uh, try and hack the EVM. How many parties participated? No, no. no and how yes, many attempts were made no, to hack the EVM? Was it hacked? I, 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 I'm actually saying that the election commission should ask Elon, Elon Musk to prove me that whether he can... We need certificate from Elon Musk now. <coughs> no, never, never, never. You are saying that we ask somebody. Sir, there are a lot of tech. There are a lot of there are a lot of uh, tech genius in this country as well. Why isn't the opposition taking their help to prove that EVMs can be hacked? Can I just come in? Take help from within the country. Then why we are here to debate something by Elon Musk? We shouldn't debate on Elon Musk. The opposition is citing Elon Musk. Sir, the opposition is citing Elon Musk. Did you not hear the reactions? Did you not hear the reactions? Did you not hear the reactions? Mr. Pramod Tiwari of the Congress said that Elon Musk ki baat ko aap nakar nahi sakte. Mr. Pramod Tiwari, we, our party, believe that ballot paper should restart in India. Then I think you should first, then you should first preach your allies in the INDI block that just, you know, do not just go by what Elon Musk is saying. That that message oh, yeah. first needs to be sent yeah. to your allies yeah. in the INDI block, which is I, which I is which one of me. one of which is a, a grand old party, which is the Congress party. But let me bring in I let me bring in our other I, guests. No, no, one second. Let me bring in our other guests as well. Zafar Islam, so I'll come back to you. Can let I me let me quickly go can one just, second. Let me quickly go across to advocate Sushil Vyas, spokesperson of the Shiv Sena. I'm going to give a very offbeat example uh, to what uh, Tariq Khan said. He said, let's take a look at the world. Let's see how the world is working. When the triple talaq was banned in India, there were several theories and narratives that did the round. Nobody saw and looked at the world and how many countries had banned it. But in this case, we need to look at the world and what Elon Musk is saying. Arguments based on what Elon Musk is saying. Advocate Piyas. Uh, ji, the same Elon Musk said the same thing on 16th or 17th June, four months back. Now he has repeated the same thing on 17th while speaking at the peninsula and some town hall. But that is apart. Now the EVM, who, who introduced EVM? Whether BJP government introduced EVM in this country or prior there too, when the Congress government was there in power, it was introduced. Number two, so many elections have taken place. Now, who, who manufactures EVM machines? In India, two public sector undertakings are manufacturing EVMs. And these EVMs are uh, stand-alone machines. Then, like America, they are not connected with internet or uh, uh, some other technology. They are stand-alone machines. No, and as CEC said in your opening remark, you were just, uh, I was just listening to that. At the different uh, st stages, whenever these machines are brought, used, or sealed again, every time the, uh, the representative of a political party or the candidate concerns are present there, they sign. Even, even they sign on the uh, cheats which are uh, annexed there too. So how this, uh, nobody till today, uh, you know, at the multiple time this issues were raised, even in the highest court of this country, Supreme Court decided yes. in April 2024 also finally. They said all allegations, but there is no proof hmm. of any hacking as such. So unless something something is said, you know, in support of their you allegations, are saying there should be this way this can be hacked. You are saying no, there should be hard proof are, they are, back. They, Right, hard proof. You're an advocate. Of course, you rely on the evidence more. Lokesh Jindal, till today, none. Huh. Absolutely, Lokesh Jindal. 
where is the hard proof yes well uh, there is a doubt with respect to various proofs whether evms are hackable or not or as has been stated by the uh, government in the question asked in the lok sabha they said that evms are non tamperable now there is a probability that they can be tampered with and the repercussions are going to be immense i mean you are just via one practice whereby there exists a probability that that machine can be hacked you are putting at stake the entire system the entire democratic uh, i would say the entire democracy of india what's the harm in going back to the ballot paper when developed countries developed economies developed polities they are admitting the uh, the fallibility of the evms and they are ready to go back to the ballot paper as has been done by japan what's the harm in india accepting it and going back to okay. the ballot paper i think zafar islam should respond to that what's the harm in going back to the ballot papers when there are a lot of countries developed countries who are opting for it see there are two things first they genuinely want ballot paper purely because they can they can somehow uh, uh manage the ballot paper and loot the uh, a booth so that they they can uh, do all the uh, they can they can actually do what they want to do they are not able to do in evm secondly if they really trust elon musk then why don't they invite on their uh, uh, and take care of the, take care of all his expenses and invite him when cc as their representative whenever cc invites political parties and their representatives they must invite elon musk and ask him to hack the hack the evm indian evm machine then you will realize that whatever claim he is making he is absolutely clueless that's why he is making this kind of this kind of allegation he has been clarified by the then it minister mr rajiv chandrasekhar and he simply replied Club, let me take you back let me take you back to 2009 when bjp reply, also had he, let he me take have. you back to 2009 when bjp also had these doubts and correct me if i'm no, wrong but uh, that was but lk advani had expressed we, lk advani had expressed these doubts then then you had let me complete sir no, no, then time. you had mukhtar abbas nakvi who was the bjp election in charge for assembly polls in maharashtra haryana and arunachal he said manipulation of electronic voting machines has led to congress victory in these elections were these not bjp leaders were these aspersions not cast by bjp was there not a sense of doubt no, back then that, uh, no but that time vv pat was not there vv pat was introduced when there was the people had some concern and no, it was no, finally no, no, no. by cc vv pat was introduced to to ensure that there is no score for any uh, 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 tampering in evm so now evv pat is there and it can be verified every vote can be verified so it is very unfair to make this kind of statement now that time was a different time no, but now, i believe EVV i believe from 2009 lokesh jindal like every single vote yes yes but, but i believe from 2009 uh, vv pats uh, did come into existence i believe it all started from 2009 yes yes vv pats were very much there only the percentage of the paper audits uh, trials that was increased even more hmm. and that was that is what is the present demand as well what, what's the harm in increasing the percentage to 20% 30% it's hardly 5% of the vv pats that are uh, that are tested in the present times so uh, another demand that the party has been stating is that you increase the percentage of vv pat now when you increase the percentage of vv pat don't you think it makes more sense to go back to the ballot papers because that is advocate vyas please respond to that that's an important point lokesh jindal is making it takes us back to that very concept of ballot papers see see number 2 number 1 before why go to that vvp ad thing see this machines are manufactured by the public sector undertaking and these are programmed at the time of manufacturing this is not program with to uh, uh, as per the, the need where which which constituency this will go which uh, state this will go on. so you can't temper like that you, you can't you know uh, manipulate as per the constituency or the candidate number one vvp at jafar bhai said if there is a very narrow margin 
of result, you know, a small margin result, then you can count each and every vote by way of VVPAT. Oh, that is as, as good as ballot. So what else you want? How how the, how this EVM can be tempered? But there the percentage, a, but no, the percentage of that is there once VVP, 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 But the percentage VVP. of that is less. That's what Lokesh Jindal is saying. One more point. One more point. Yes, one more point. No, 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 no. That is general in general way only five percent. If no, no. there is a narrow margin, you can count uh, the entire VVP. Yet. Okay. Sir, the EVMs and the lists that are mentioned in the EVM, they are just they are altered just a month before the elections. Once the withdrawal form date is out, but once the date has been gone, the number of people who are contesting the elections they are finalized. But what is On the, the permanent? That, but what is the permanent solution to this, Tariq ji? Whichever party loses will say EVM ko tamper kiya tha. Because uh, 2009 mein Bharti Janata Party ne kaha tha, this is, this is an electronic victory machine for the Congress. BJP is saying that people are giving, they are giving mandate to them all the time. This is 2014. Let's check it. Do it work. Try to work. Huh? Do it. JDM Rasuna, your leader, get how to prove democracy at risk. And people like Chandra Babu Naidu and Lal Krishna Atwari wrote against EPM at that time. That's all right. But if there is a nation, Modi is saying that people are, are giving votes, it is all right. Prove us wrong. We are here. Prove us wrong. Works. It's all right. No, but that okay, convenient that's stand, that con that's what I'm saying. That's what my question is, Kishore Tiwari ji, that this convenient stand is our political party. Le leti hai. कर्नाटक और तेलंगाना में जीत के बाद तो कभी कांग्रेस ने नहीं कहा कि ईवीएम में गड़बड़ी हुई थी आप पूरे वीवी पैट्स को चेक कीजिए जम्मू कश्मीर में बीजेपी की हार हुई नेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस क्यों जीती अगर हरियाणा में मैनिपुलेशन हो सकता है तो जम्मू कश्मीर में मैनिपुलेशन क्यों नहीं हो सकता अरे भाई तुम्हारी ये सब बातों से तो मैं एग्री हूं लेकिन एक बात मैं बताऊं तुमको हर पॉलिटिक्स जब हारती है तो ऑब्जेक्शन लेती है कि ये इलेक्ट्रॉनिक विक्ट्री है ऐसा वैसा बीजेपी ने 2009 में बोला और 24 19 में और फिर से 14 19 चौबीस में ये कह रहे तो मैं मुझे लगता है कि अमेरिका ने किया या जापान ने किया रीइंट्रोड्यूस वैसे भारत में बैलेट पेपर इंट्रोड्यूस करना चाहिए या हंड्रेड परसेंट वीवीपीआई काउंटिंग कंपल्सरी करना चाहिए ताकि हो जाए ना एक बार का आ, दो चार बार में सब ठीक निकला तो फिर आ जाना इतना प्रेस्टीज बनाने की जरूरत क्या है बीजेपी को हाँ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मशीन को थोड़ा रख दो बाजू में एक चुनाव हो जाए हाँ जब इतने ऑब्जेक्शन है तो हो जाए ना एक फेयर फेयर चीज है हाँ क्या किसान आंदोलन तरीका ये हजार एक एक साल भर होगा उसके बाद ही ये वापस लेकिन किशोर तिवारी जी फिर वही बात है ना आप मेरे सवाल का जवाब नहीं दे रहे हैं आप बस बार बार कह रहे हैं कि बैलेट पेपर पर वापस चलिए बैलेट पेपर पर वापस चलिए जब आप चुनाव जीतते हैं तब आप बैलेट पेपर पर जाने की बात क्यों नहीं करते कौन करेगा चुनाव के बाद एग्जैक्टली थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर सेंग दैट लोकेश जिंदल कौन बात करेगा चुनाव जीतने के बाद ईवीएम वीवीपैट और बैलेट पेपर की अरे दो हजार बीजेपी का 2014 सच्चाई सच्चाई बोल दी किशोर तिवारी जी ने सच्चाई बोल दी दूध का दूध पानी का पानी कर दिया लोकेश जी द पॉइंट इज प्रीवियसली वेन बैलेट पेपर सिस्टम वॉज देयर इफ एट ऑल देर वॉज एनी फॉर्म ऑफ बूथ कैप्चर इन द रिटर्निंग ऑफिसर ऑलवेज हैड द पावर सो एज टू हैव क्लेम दैट द इलेक्शन इन दैट पर्टिकुलर बूथ वॉज रिट ही कुड टेक प्यूरेटिव एक्शन इवन re-election and uh, all such procedures would be given effect to. But now what happens with EVMs, if at all there is any form of rigging that is taking place, any form of manipulation that is taking place, you know, if you talk about Bharat Electronics Limited, which functions under the Ministry of Defense, as one of the uh, panelists was saying, uh, that also functions under the government. Now, the EVM machines, they always have to be fed into with respect to data over the number of people who are contesting in the elections. So there is always some form of a window room for, uh, for entering data. And then that output is also something which is electronically gauged. So there, it, it, it's not some form of a mechanical device. Whereby but it, it does no not have, it, it cannot connect to a Wi-Fi, it cannot connect to a Bluetooth, it so cannot connect to any, 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 no. okay, it cannot Absolutely connect to not. any servers. 
That's so that's one of the points. One of the technical points. I'm not a tech expert here, but I'm just citing the technical points that have been made in favor of EVM. That it is not hackable. No, 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 absolutely not. You do not necessarily need Wi-Fi internet connections so as to hack into a device. You can also hack into a device without any form of a external connection that is required. The circuits. Uh, additional malware, additional circuits, uh, outside circuits. If they are somehow uh, brought. Look, Ajinder, when you when you talk with hundred percent surety, then I, I have am, to go. I am I am I am putting forward facts that are theoretically and scientifically proved. I'm not giving. I'm not coming out with some form of vague imagination. No, no, I'm not saying it's a vague ima imagination. I'm just saying if you're talking with the hundred percent surety and this is the absolute truth, then once again I will have to, on the cost of repeating myself. Ask you that why did the political parties, the main political parties who had this suspicion, this doubt, not participate in that Because challenge of the election commission? It could have been proven if you would have participated. Because, because, that these are hackable it, machines. Let's get done with them. Because theory supports it. The scientific theory supports. The scientific evidence supports that these machines are hackable. But it's not practical. But, then, but, but it's not happening practically. But it has to be if the theory supports, if the scientific research supports, then it should be uh, practically possible as well, Lokesh Jindal. You know, it's almost like that. You are saying that this cyanide won't kill you. No, I am asking you this question because I am asking you this question because because side? because when the when the opposition constantly raises the issue of the EVM and you try to uh, pedal. Let's not call it a narrative. Let's just say that this is what the opposition is citing. That according to them, the EVMs are hackable and that the elections are being manipulated. You also put a very big question mark on the mandate of the people, on all those who are voting. And for their sake, perhaps okay. the political parties should take part in such a challenge and prove that it's it's hackable and that uh, these machines can be manipulated. Zafar Islam. Look, look, I just want to make one point. No, no, one second. Now let me bring in other panelists. Zafar Islam. Hey. Uh, what was the question, Swati? You made. My question to Lokesh Jindal and to everyone else is because in 2000 and even the BJP said the same thing. If according to Lokesh Jindal, the theory proves it. If scientific research says that these machines, even if they do not have any external connections, they cannot connect to Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, can be hacked. Then why is it that practically nobody is taking up the challenge of the election commission? Nobody tried proving it otherwise. Absolutely, you are spot on. In fact, this is what I asked uh, the all the uh, opposition spokesperson that why you don't take that opportunity when it has been given by the election commission to prove them wrong, prove them wrong that it can be hacked. They have given opportunity to every single political party who have challenged. Aap was making that this kind of statement when I Aap was invited, they didn't turn up. When Congress makes time and again when they lose, they make this kind of statement. The election Commission invited them; they didn't turn up. So basically, everyone knows that it cannot be hacked. Even Congress party knows it cannot be hacked. But when they lose the election, okay, what exactly they can, they can do? You are saying it's just an they excuse. So, so Tariq Khan, they, they was, have to find an excuse. Okay. They have to, Well, All right. Were, were people in the opposition the, actually looking for this Rahul this Gandhi. validation they coming in from uh, uh, America from abroad? Nobody had asked at that time in 2009 not to Jayendra Narsimha, not to Lal Krishna Advani, not to Mukhtar Abbas Nakvi to prove all those things. Even it was fair to ask them. But I'm saying this that if all political parties are saying something, that have it. Or Arshil Anwar, why he is saying all these things? He should ask. Should ask. But I'm not. You just misquoted me and said that we have lost him. We could look at the rest of the world. So are so 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 it's our, it's, okay so 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 it's our nation option to go with the approach of the world. Are opposition leaders in India. India and Elon Musk talking about the same EVMs? Is there no difference in the EVMs that are being used here in India and uh, uh, US or other countries? Even what he he is saying that there is a machine that can be had. This is the point he is making, and he has he has said the same thing so much back as well. So if he is saying there is a machine, so or even he all around India, whenever I am asking BJP, go ahead, step forward and say that he will prove prove it well. Then reverse back yourself to uh, EVM once again. Let's have one election with EVM. Start with a single election.
we have started in a transition process when we transferred ourselves from ballot to EV. That was a transition process. Why not travel one or two process to the floor? Give a clap on our seat. That all. Oh, okay, you were all. It's everywhere. So we are saying that we do. I, the leader, our leader in the parliament says our vote share has increased 15%. Even the authority said that if very quick rebuttal, I have to wrap up. Said Zafar Islam, very quick rebuttal, I have to wrap up. See, this kind of a statement time and again coming from all the opposition parties, it is very immature of, the, uh, of them that they are holding EVM responsible for all their defeats. They need to understand that if at all they have any problem, they can go to ECI, Election Commission of India, and demonstrate that how it can be hacked. We are making this statement time and again that EVM cannot be hacked. The concerned minister had already clarified, even given Elon Musk and on his Twitter, he has made it clear that you do, you do not be, uh, understand uh, the difference between the, these two machines you are talking about. All right. It is, uh, you, first you should be able to differentiate hmm. and then you, you should come and uh, demonstrate that it can be hacked. It is, it is a very... And fair on the part of okay. Elon Musk to just make a okay. very well, casual well, statement that everything can The election can be commission has time and again stated that the these machines cannot be hacked. The opposition has its doubts and suspicions. And Elon Musk's statement has in fact only added fuel to fire. The opposition, some of them in fact in the opposition also citing that Elon Musk's statement cannot be ignored. Thank you very much gentlemen for joining us on the broadcast. With that I wrap up debate number one.